Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Uh, I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Friday, the 6th day of January. Today is National Bean Day. National Cuddle Up Day. Ooh, get over here, Heidi. <laughs> National Shortbread Day. I like shortbread. And it is National Technology Day. I like technology, too, but uh, only when it works. I don't like technology. I love technology, but yeah, there are times that it doesn't work, and then I'm not a fan. Um, I'm also a fan of our guest today, David Rubenstein. He is the author of How to Invest, and this is actually a really cool book. Uh, we were going to talk the tail end of last year, and I thought, you know what? There are people who have resolutions to get their financial world in order, so... Maybe we save this and we chat in January because I had I had so many Christmas things that we were doing leading up to Christmas. So and I didn't want it to like land in that weird week between Christmas and New Year. So we uh, we were able to hold them off. The book came out the tail end of last year, but we're going to chat about it coming up in a little while. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. So you're heading out of your home for a few hours. Do you pat your dog on the head, give him a little kiss, tell him to be good, or try to sneak out so he might not even notice you're gone. Heidi, what do you do? I give her kisses yeah, and hugs and we tell do. her how sorry I am that mm, I have to leave and yeah. then I cry. Well, listen to this. New study <laughs> from researchers in Italy say that dogs have an easier emotional time when we give them an affectionate, gentle petting before we leave. Researchers conducted experiments with 10 healthy dogs without any unusual attachment issues. They found that when dogs had been petted, they exhibited a more relaxed demeanor during the separation time, and their stress level remained unchanged. So, Heidi is doing it right. I'm doing it right. But you got to quit feeding our dog from the table. <laughs> oh. It drives makes me you so It does. Mad. I'm like, okay, we've had dog trainers it's not like tell I us not give to her do a that. Plate and yeah. a chair. <laughs> I, <that's, laughs> make it sound like pretty soon you'll be setting a spot for her at us. the table. <laughs> okay, this is your soup spoon. This is your soup, and then you get just a salad fork. <laughs> All right. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? Bad news. If you're one of the millions who cannot fall asleep without a television on, a study published in the Journal of American Medical Association found that... Very bad for you. Those who sleep with artificial light, including a television, are at increased risk of weight gain and obesity. That's my problem. I'll blame it on that. Study conducted... On 44,000 adult women found those who sleep with the lights on are more likely to have less sleep, take a longer time to fall asleep, wake up at night, and have to take naps during the day. Even those who sleep with a night light had an increased body weight, uh, roughly 11 pounds or 5 kilograms, and experienced a 10% or more increase in body mass index. So what they're saying is you should turn off all of the light before you go to sleep. Yeah. No late nights, no TVs. And I know that you shouldn't be on your phone before um, going to bed Why are either. you pointing at me? Well, we both do that. We're uh -huh. both guilty of that. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and Heidi will be on her phone. I'm I like, know. what time is it? She's like, it was 3.15. I'm like, what are, you, <laughs> what are you doing? We need to wake up soon. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Did you like the TV show The X Factor? No. It might get a second chance with a different network. More than nine years after the American version of the hit reality competition series was canceled after three seasons on Fox, it may be coming back to U.S. television. Creator and judge Simon Cowell recently revealed that he is in talks with NBC to revive The X Factor. 
The deal is by no means done, but if it happens, it will likely fall under Cowell's expanded deal with NBC Universal. So um, they still do the X Factor in other countries, and I see all the time where they share. And there's some of the talents that I see in their like languages that I don't speak that I I'm baffled by. Like I'm just how, not much of a game show person. It's not really a game show. It's a reality it was. show. It's. Eh. 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 <laughs> Can you tell we've been married a long time? <laughs> Big screen, little screen brought to you by <laughs> ChannelSurferTV.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Do you know anyone who's getting married this year? Well, if you are invited to a bachelor party, make sure you show up. A survey says two in five people think bachelor or bachelorette parties are more memorable than a wedding itself. How crazy is that? Okay. 42%. Uh, Now for the wholesome part. The poll of 2,000 adults in the United States regarded... Yeah, well, it's a poll. Uh, where they well, asked bachelor parties usually have those. No, it's like they asked a bunch of people, a P-O-L-L kind of poll. <laughs> oh, Heidi. Uh, they asked a bunch of adults, not children like Heidi, um, <laughs> about traditions involved with the final night of freedom. The report that people think bachelor and bachelorette parties are more fun, 58% say that. More memorable, 44%. Uh, and they think fun and, and memorable are better than raunchy, only 13% like that. Or cheesy, 12%. A third of respondents are over going to gentlemen's clubs. They're like, nah, it's not for me. Especially women, 42% of women say don't want to do it. 25% of men go, nah, I don't want to do that. Many are also uh, ready to stop having explicit themed items so you know there's some okay. things that are just kind of raunchy 29 percent, or visiting casinos 22 percent, calling these traditions quote tacky the survey found that while bachelor and bachelorette parties may invoke images of partying and chaos 65 percent believe they should be an opportunity for the groom or the bride to relax and that guests should cover all of the expenses for the party according to 55 percent the best place for a wedding pre-party? What do you think, Heidi? A spa. No, an all-inclusive resort. So, Jeez. Yeah. And they're like, hey, we're going to go hang out here for a week. <laughs> That's I've never been invited to that kind of party. They must have much wealthier friends Apparently, than I do. I've never been to one of these. Mine are usually like, hey, you want to meet us at Applebee's? <laughs> I right. cannot even imagine by being the way, expected you, to provide an all-inclusive your, vacation yeah, for somebody. You're expected to get your own uh, appetizers. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of Jeez. Better Credit Cards. I mean, I'll take it all. You can eat buffet or something. Yeah, well, uh, that's about all the all-inclusive you're going to get out of me. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Our guest today is author David M. Rubenstein. He's got a new book out, uh, came out tail end of last year. It's called How to Invest, Masters on the Craft. Let's talk a little bit about what led up to you writing this book. Okay. Um, I've been in the investment world for some 35 years. I helped to start and helped to lead a firm called the Carlisle Group, which is one of the largest private equity firms in the world. And uh, as a result of that, I've met many people in the investment world, not all in private equity. And I decided I would interview the best of them, the best investors in the United States in various categories, and try to have their insights uh, 
be available to people, but recognizing that just by reading a book about Warren Buffett or somebody like that, you're not going to become Warren Buffett. But there are average uh, uh, tips for people who are average investors, and I think people can learn a fair bit about what to do with their money. Well, I think this is a great idea for a book. Again, How to Invest, Masters on the Craft. Here's the thing that's nice about it. With technology, anybody that wants to can trade. They can go on and do all of the investing themselves, which is really cool, but it's also kind of scary because if you don't know what you're doing, you could make a huge, huge error, and it could be very, very costly, couldn't it? Right. You can lose your, all of your money, and so you need to know what you're doing. And I tried to provide some tips and insights about what the average person should do with his or her money, which is to say, uh, be very careful and make certain you don't lose what you have and diversify and go into safe funds and so forth. But for those people who are younger, who might want to learn the investment career or who want to take a little bit more risk because they're younger and can afford to, to take some risk, uh, there are some insights in there as well for them. Well, the early praise for this book is very, very good. book came out uh, tail end of last year, and you've got some really good people who are, are giving you some great, great praise for the book. Uh, I'm looking at the list here, and this name kind of stands out. Bill Gates, when you're talking about investing, not a bad guy to like your book. I'd say it's good. I mean, Bill is a, a smart guy, and he's been a good investor as well as a good uh a capitalist, and I, you know, I'm very pleased that he said good things about the book. And like I said, in addition to him, there's a bunch of other very notable names on here, people who know a lot about investing, but that's not who the book is really designed for. This is designed kind of for just the average Joe investor, right? That's correct, the average person, somebody who really doesn't have an enormous amount of wealth, but is worried about having money for their, for their future, for their retirement, for their children's sci- uh, college educations, and so forth. It's designed for people who want to be real relatively conservative, but it does show them the insights that the greatest investors have used to make their own careers uh, so spectacular. As I'm taking a look through this book, there's a bunch of really impressive people that you had a chance to work with while you were compiling the tips and tricks and all of the advice to help people in the book, How to Invest, Masters on the Craft. If, if I reached out to these folks, they probably wouldn't even call me back. But when you put a book together like this, it's really good to have their input in this book. Uh, I'm sure you would get a call back. Uh, I've been in the investment world for 35 years, so I do know uh, all of these individuals and have worked with them or talked with them over the years, so it makes it much easier for me to do it, but I have no doubt that you could get them on the phone as well and get an interview if you wanted one. Very nice. Now, let's talk about what you're going to find in the book, How to Invest, Masters on the Craft. Give me a snapshot of what folks are going to learn when they open up this book. What they'll find is that what you should do if you want to be an average investor and do reasonably well is read, make sure you know what you're doing, invest in funds that have a good track record, have good managers, managers are putting their own money alongside you. Um, you can get access to the information of how your performance is going on a regular basis. Um, you aren't putting too much money in one area. Um, you're investing alongside other smart people. Um, those are the kind of things you should do. And it's an interesting phenomenon where people who work very hard in whatever career they have, and they really know what they're doing, when they make money, they sometimes just don't pay attention to what they're doing with the money. They just throw it into one fund or another fund and don't really know what they're doing. They should put the same care into investing their money for their retirement as they do into their own uh, career. I love that. Again, the book is out right now, How to Invest, Masters on the Craft. Our guest is the author of that book. Where can folks go if they would like to find a copy of the book? Well, I think it's now in most bookstores. It came out September 13th. I think it's on various New York Times and Wall Street Journal bestseller lists, and Amazon also is a place you can get it. I'm going to make it really easy to find. I'll throw a link to it in the show notes for today. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Again, the book is out right now. It is called How to Invest, Masters on the Craft. And I thought this would be a really good interview for the beginning of the year as there are people who are making New Year's resolutions to kind of get their financial world in order. If you're one of them, again, the book, How to Invest, it's available now. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Your fingernails grow faster when you're cold. 
Wow. I didn't know that. Huh. Interesting. That is very interesting. That explains why I had toenail claws the other day. <laughs> Fun <laughs> yeah, fact we've for been you. very cold. <laughs> uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Only 45% of the London underground is actually underground. <laughs> Okay. Less than half. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? People whose names start with A have the longest life expectancy. Really? Nobody really knows why. That's kind of weird. Okay. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Medical errors are the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. Well, that's Yikes. not good. Medical errors? Yikes. Let's try to get that right. And our final thing, addicts. Oh, I'm sorry. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Addicts were invented Where? In Attica. Yeah, that's why they're called addicts. I thought you were spelling that differently. I was thinking the Betty Ford Clinic. Or... No, not addicts. <laughs> Attics. I didn't know. <sighs> you said it Uh huh. not very clearly. Several fun- well, and you are in radio and it is your job to enunciate. <laughs> enunciate that's on you. this. <laughs> Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Here's your question, Heidi. 18% of people admit they have done this purely to come across as more intelligent. What is it? Use big words. Um, No. Wear glasses. No, I've done this apparently, though. Displayed books in their home or office. Remember I used to have a bookshelf that was like filled with books? But my books were not all that really <laughs> practical jokes you can pull on a second grader. I mean, uh, maybe not that, but all kinds of silly books. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. This was also uh, going to maybe be my big screen, little screen, but I decided to put it here because it's kind of a weird story. Nick Cannon has some words for anybody that thinks he has too many kids. My body, my choice, he said <laughs> on New Year's Eve. Because Andy Cohen asked him if he considered getting a vasectomy. Cannon's response was uh, no. Uh, he, he says, do you want to hit 20? Cannon's honest answer was clearly, I don't have a plan. That should have been clear from the jump. Cannon, by the way, welcomed baby number 11 a couple of months ago and baby number 12 last month. So, wow. And, uh, yeah, he's got, he's got a lot of kids. And there was a thing towards the end of last year where it said, uh, here's what everyone's going to look like in the future. And it was, uh, it was, a, bunch of, like Nick it was a bunch of photos of Nick Cannon <laughs> that had wigs and mustaches and stuff <laughs> attached to him. Uh, it was pretty funny. Weird news comes your way, courtesy of weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Heidi is going to probably disagree on some of this, but according to Rolling Stone, they have a new 200 greatest singers list out. I've got the greatest singers of all time. We're going to do the top 10, then I'm going to cherry pick a couple others here. Okay. Number 10, Al Green. Nine, Otis Redding. Eight, Beyonce. Seven, Stevie Wonder. Six, Ray Charles. Five, Mariah Carey. <sighs> now we're in the top four greatest singers of all time, according to Rolling Stone. Billy Holiday, number four. Okay. I, knew I agree like with that. that. Sam Cooke, number three. Number two, Whitney Houston. I agree with that. And who do you think, according to Rolling Stone, is the number one greatest singer of all time? Oh, you, you, Elvis? No, you love her music. Aretha Franklin. Oh, I do love yeah. Aretha. Uh, Freddie Mercury was number 14. Elvis was number 17. Adele was number 22. Frank Sinatra, number 20. And Bob Dylan beat Elvis and what? beat Frank Sinatra. He's number 15 for the greatest singers. Wow. Greatest singers of all time. 
So you know this list ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you're a Dylan fan, Heidi's aunt is a big Bob Dylan fan. That's why I had to say that. That is the list. Comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at Mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today from Clarence Darrow, who said, When I was a boy, I was told that anybody could become president. I'm beginning to believe it. (laughs) 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 I love that. That was sent to me. I appreciate it. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. If you ever want to submit a quote, by the way, you can do that at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. I think this is good news. I think this is great news. This is a really cool story. Okay. Comes your way, courtesy of RadioTravelGroup.com. Here's the headline. Stranger buys kid a grand piano after seeing him on the local news. How cool is this? Okay. 11-year-old Jude Nayamk. Keith Kofé, I probably said all of that wrong, and I apologize, uh, f- went viral for surprising his father one morning with seemingly overnight musical mastery. Local news station in Denver shared a video of this talent, and a viewer saw this and bought him a grand piano. So Jude surprised his father one morning with a little concert on an old keyboard that he found down in the basement. Turns out Jude, who has autism, is a musical oh, genius. wow. Jude's father took a video and posted it on social media, and it was picked up by Denver 7. A professional piano tuner technician named Bill Magnuson happened to be watching the news that day, and he saw this video of Jude's father, uh, the the video that Jude's father shared. He emailed the station and said, hey, I'd like to speak with this family. He says, my first reaction was, this kid is Mozart level. Magnuson said he used his father's inheritance to buy this piano. The ripple effect for the next 70 or 80 years are incalculable, Magnuson said. It's not just for him. It's for all the people who wow. he is going to touch. So how cool that is crazy. Is that? And I've got a link to the video. I'm going to play it for Heidi here in a second uh, because we didn't get a chance. Well, I'll click. But you're, you may remember my friend. Yeah, I'm not going to have time to do it. <laughs> I was going to try to play it, but well, it's it's a whole thing. It's in the show notes for today at the bottom. You'll see the good news. If you'd like to see it, you can see that at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. If I'd have been really good, I would have had it all queued up right to the piano playing part. I'm not that That would have been good. All right, well, I know that now. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday.